Referee Goff blows time on. Nathan Norford gets us underway. The hooker for Kerwin, and it goes straight down the throat of number five for Kiba Park. That is Jade Gage Napier. And he's Bill Norford, a dummy half. Shows inside to McLeod. Gets it outside. This is a try to Reese Martin. Had to crack at some point. They had three or four sets on the line on Kiba Park. And Kerwin, the local boys, lead 4-0. A beautiful try there, but a comeback. You can trace it back to the error from Kibra Park. But it's the hooker, McLeod. He's been sensational at the start. He came out, dummied inside, and the cutout pass. And it's a beautiful try in the corner. Trying to convert the try of Reese Martin. Here he is, Homer Anderson. Oh, yes! Just gets it over. He had great it. speed. Beto, and there he is, Kahu. Inside to White, back to Kahu, running wide. He runs himself. Oh, just He's hanging on for dear life with Raman. Just a meter out. We're on the last. Oh, charges over, does he? That is Mosesi for Tuiaka. Has he scored? He points to the spot. Does referee Goff? And it is but the big fella, number eight. Mosesi for Tuiaka. That's him. Crashes over from close range. And they're back in the game. Keeper. Kahu to add the extras. Ooh, and he's missed it, Kahu. As the ball goes back to Powell, to White. White shows the kick, goes himself. He threw straight down the guts for Kibra Park. Pops the ball over the side to Wells. And he shows that pace that Andrew mentioned. And he'll score a four-pointer for Kibra Park. Outstanding attacking play. And they now hit the lead. It's 8-6 Kibra over Kerwin. Yeah, beautiful play there by Cooper Park. And it was started by Danny White. Dummy the kick, come off the right foot, slice through. But this is where he showed his class. He didn't panic, threw the long ball to Hanari Wells. And look at this guy finish. Outstanding prospect. Lightning fast, knew his way to the, the try line. Looks a player of, of a huge future. Kafu from a lot more difficult position. Will he get this one? Oh, what about that? Misses the easy one, gets the tough one. That's an outstanding piece of goal kicking. Kibra 10, Kerwin 6. Regan Rapati, you won't miss him with the hairdo. Oh, he charges through one, through two. And eventually Nathan Norford brings him to ground with the help of a few others, including Ellie Thide, Sam's younger brother. Beto to Kahu. He gets through one, gets through two, gets the ball away to Ben Murdoch. Look at Murdoch go! Straight under the black dot, the big back rower. He's another one the Tigers like, and he'll be down with them next year. Straight under the dot, and they stretch their lead. Kibra 14, Kerwin 6. Yeah, beautiful try to Kibra there. They found their rhythm, but it was a fullback. Kahu got the ball on a sweep play out here. Nothing much doing, but with his footwork and speed, dances around and off offloads there. And big Ben Murdoch. Simon the Tigers. Look at the size of him. Wow. Doesn't go back far, does he? Yeah, easily just pops that one over Kahu. And they stretch their lead. Kibra Park. They lead Kerwin 16 6. Referee Goff gets us underway through the boot of white. It is Kibra Park leading the way here at Dairy Farmers Stadium in the Queensland final. 16 points to six, all to do for Kerwin, and that is Francis Vakiso. Yeah, Kibra Park is set in the long shift. Watch out for Kahu. Powell to White. White goes himself. White all the way, White. Watch out for White. Watch out for White, all right. Goes over the white stripe. And it's more points for Kibra. As we said, normally a back rower, and he played like that time. Showed to go wide, ran himself in those big grasshopper arms. 20 points to six. Yeah, they're lined out wide. He's got the Kerwin defence stretched. And there he is, the 5'8 again wide. He's been outstanding today. Just shows and goes. Reaches out and plants the ball over. He's been impressive, Denny White. As you've said, a former back rower playing 5'8. Yes. He doesn't go back, doesn't give himself... A lot of room with his kicks. One, two, boom it is. And that one is straight over the post. Or straight over the crossbar, rather. And extending the lead. 22 points to six. It's key. Had to trip to get over the top. And here's White again. Danny White. Still alive, Danny White. He scores. 
Danny White, he's a big guy, hard to handle. Nathan Norford couldn't bring him to ground. Gets one of those big mitts over the line. And they stretch it, Kibra. It is 26-6. Yeah, second try for the for the game, second try for the half. He does it all himself. Gets the ball wide and flat. A former back rower, so he's got size and strength and carries two and three guys over. Danny White, outstanding today. But he takes three steps. And you see when he kicks the ball, the ball drifts from left to right, when normally for a right footer, he would drift from right to left. And he stands all the time, one of those real tall, wiry back rowers. We're on the last, and Christopher Bourne puts the kick up high. Ah, oh, beautifully taken by Kahu, and he takes it on the charge. He'll go the distance, will he? What an outstanding piece of play from the Kibra Park captain, and what a try. That is an outstanding rugby league try from Jordan Kahu for Kibra Park. Oh, we've sung his praises all afternoon. A young guy who looks to have a huge future. Athletic, but look at the courage he shows here. He goes forward and attacks the ball. And then look at him in, in open space. What a beautiful mover. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of this young guy in the future in the NRL. Signed by the West Tigers. But an outstanding try. Showed it all. But especially a lot of courage to attack that bomb. And what a try. Absolutely take your breath away. This is Jordan Kahu. And simple as you like, he adds the extras on his try. And Kibra Park, it's been a display. 32, 34 points to six over Kerwin. Bourne works the scrum for Kerwin. To Norford. Shows to go inside and gets the ball eventually to Fui Moana. And he's pulled down by his opposition number, Kahu. There's Norford from dummy half. Oh, beautiful ball. Norford to Abdul Rahman. And there's a great little four-pointer for Kerwin. And they worked that well. It was a set play, Kerwin. And they are on the board again. 34 points to 10. Yeah, Kerwin High School is probably their best player today. The young hooker gets out, shapes long. This is beautiful ball playing. And puts young Abadal Rahman in for a try. That's what, what you want from your ball players. When they do a tackle on, if they go right into the line, to play short. And that's what the young man did. Oh, he gets it across. He hasn't been convincing with either, either of his kick. Norford. Tamalalo. Charges his strong man. Eventually held up in the field of play. He'll play the ball back to Norford on the last to Rahman. Rahman with a little chip kick. Will, will he get it? No. He was close. Situation well. Just dribbled the ball in the end goal to get a repeat. The try was on. A desperate defence by the number five there, Gage Napier, saves the day. Norford goes himself, but too many defenders that side. Is he still going? I said too many defenders. I went off a bit early. Outstanding run from Norford, and he actually gets across the line. A few players fell off him. Here's their charge from Kerwin. Yeah, it think, is 34-16. I think Cooper Park were waiting for this young man to get a dummy half. He's been Kerwin's best player all day. The hooker, young Nathan Norford. He showed skill, but there he shows his strength to carry three much bigger guys over the, for a try. Maybe a little too little too late, but uh, they certainly haven't given up. And uh -huh. not, a, not an attractive kick, but it doesn't really matter how it looks. He got the points over the bar. It went 34-18, Kibra over Kerwin. Norford to dummy half for Rahman. Rahman with the long ball. Oh, straight into seat 16 here at Dairy Farmers. This will be the last play of the game. It's Kibra. They lead 34 points to 18. And Michael Kai takes the tackle. We might know. We will, you'll get one more play. No, we won't. And that's full time in the Queensland final here of the Arrival Live Cup. A win for Kibra Park, a convincing win. They've travelled up all the way from the Gold Coast and they have beaten Kerwin 
34-18. Some great players there this afternoon. There's Andrew John's best, Jordan Kahu. He has quite a future, not only with the Tigers, but in this competition. They're through to the semi-finals. Kibra beating Kerwin here. Until next time on Channel 9's Wide World of Sports and the Arrival Live Cup, it's bye for now.